Kendi, you have spoken about, written about your lament that the first word that comes to mind when we think of church is not creativity. Yeah. Uh, but creativity is so much what you would think of would be part of a church that worshiped a creator and a church that worshiped a God that raised Christ from the dead. So how do we reintroduce entrepreneurial thinking and creativity into within five words of the word church in a search? Yeah, I think that um, we are heading in this direction. I, I'm hopeful um, that this is going to be something that is part of the church conversation for the next generation. I do think that the association of creativity and churches is very much at the center of any serious conversation that we have about churches that are going to take seriously young adult spirituality. I mean, among other things, what we, we know that the arts are very important to um, millennials generally, and um, there has been research done by Katie Douglas um, who has discovered that young adults view the arts as um, a particular, a particularly powerful way of opening themselves to God, of expressing their faith, of experiencing God. So creativity is part of what we've got to take seriously if we are really going to um, make any sense to millennials and those that come after them. Uh, the entrepreneurial part of it is uh, something that's recently interesting to me, and it's partly generated, in all honesty, by the fact that we have let ourselves off the hook from doing, from being seriously involved in mission and ministry um, because we're running out of money. You know, well, we don't have any money, so let's get rid of the youth pastor, or we don't have any money, so we're going to cut this mission or whatever it is. I don't really think we have the option as churches to stop doing ministry just because our funding streams have changed. What that means is we have to do what generations have done before us, and that is figure out new ways of interacting um, with the world in, that we can both, you know, fund and also that we can, that will operate as ministry. And the great thing about that is the church has a long history of doing this. Um, and uh, people don't realize actually that the offering plate was a, was a, kind of a recent invention. I mean, in the United States, I think it was the early 1800s. Up until then, the government gave you money for your church. And when the, one day the government said, no, we're not going to do that anymore. And so churches had a crisis. Our funding streams have changed. They didn't close down. They started passing the plate. Well, now we have another version of that that we have to think about. The reason it's important for young adults is because young adults desperately want to be agents of ministry and not objects of ministry. They want to be people who help make change and not just people who, you know, are ministered to, you know. They are, and the creativity that they bring to that equation is just endless. What we've got to do is figure out a way to help facilitate the ministries they bring to the table. And what that means is we are not, you know, giving them ministry. We are not putting them in a group and telling them this is, you know, what we're going to do now is we're going to study this. We might do, there might be study that goes with that. But what that study does is it, you know, empowers them to take their, the ministries that they have to offer the world on the road. And whether that's something big like international, you know, building of wells or whatever, or whether it's something that's fairly small and very local, um, they, what they're going to want to do is be able to integrate that into their, you know, work life. One of the things that we've separated too much that young adults call us out on all the time is that church is over here and this life, this career that I want meaning out of is over here. And what I want to be able to do is say, hey, you know what? Those two things can go together. And part of that, it's entrepreneurial in the sense that it's not going to depend on the church to fund you to do the ministry, but you are going to have to figure out a way that this can be sustainable. Um, but it's so integrated into their um, understanding of what it is they're called to do that, that that's not a chore. That's just part of their daily life. The early church, people thought of their day jobs as ways that they funded their ministry. I think that's pretty much the situation we're going to be in, and young adults are going to be the ones that lead us there. Uh, but only if we give them some space for that creativity to happen.